Bill. Bill is a responsible gun owner. Or is he? That doesn't look very responsible, Bill. But what's the worst that could happen? That's not good, Bill. That's better, Bill. Now that's being a responsible gun owner. Do you like Bill? Hello, I'm Deputy Hart with the Summit County Sheriff's Office Training Division. Today we'll be talking about commercially available gun locks that when used properly, render the weapon inoperable, thus preventing anyone from using it. First we have a trigger lock. The trigger lock encompasses the trigger, preventing it from being pulled and the weapon firing. You place the two halves on either side of the trigger and push them together, locking the trigger in place. You can do this with or without the weapon being loaded. This will work on any gun with a trigger. Second, we have a cable lock. The cable lock is a device that prevents the loading of the weapon. On a semi-automatic handgun, you will have to first remove the magazine from the weapon and lock the slide in the rear position. Then, place the cable through the chamber and out the magazine well, thus preventing the ability to load the weapon. On a revolver, you will swing the cylinder out of the weapon and run the cable through that area where the cylinder was, preventing it from closing and loading the weapon. If you use either of these trigger locks correctly, you can prevent someone from using your weapon without your permission and potentially preventing a tragedy from happening. Again, I'm Deputy Hart, Summit County Sheriff's Office, and that has been your gun safety tip of the day.